we're basically at the point now where we need to implement the village system and it's going to be fairly straightforward. But uh, what, what you have is you create basically a village idol and uh, from that you can, which creates a, a little claim that the village, um, that protects the village, village's turf and like if someone commits a crime or you know does something towards anything placed on that claim, he will, he or she will leave a scent behind that can then be used to track them down, a criminal little clue that reveals the, the kind of, that, that a crime took place here. And they can then expand this, the claim of the village by building additional authority objects that they can then spread across the map and kind of expand their influence that way. When you are trying to, to enforce like the, the law and order of the land upon a, a criminal, what you do is you, you have a subset of skills that you need to learn um, that are like ranging or tracking skills that you can use to find criminal clues that have been left on the map and uh, use them to track the player who left them. So uh, basically what you do when you find that a crime has been committed is that you call in your town ranger and he goes and has a look at the, the scents that have been left, uh, picks a couple of them up and then uses those to track the perpetrator. And then once you have located the perpetrator in the game world, I find out where he lives, uh, the rest is really up to you. The normal way of enforcing crime, and obviously we've built a game before with similar mechanics like Haven and Hearth, and uh, the way that players usually enforce justice there is by killing the player who committed the crime. And that's really like, that's the only thing that kind of settles it with finality because like death is extremely harsh. Like when you, when you lose your character, you lose a lot and it's not just, a, you need to level up a new character basically.